Greenwich lies at the heart of British attempts to discover accurate and practical methods of finding longitude at sea. In the 1600s, people knew that longitude could be worked out by comparing time on board a ship with time at a reference point, like Greenwich. Astronomers hoped to use the moon's motion relative to the stars as a giant celestial clock. From 1676, the Astronomer Royal and his assistants recorded the stars' positions from the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. When the fifth Astronomer Royal, Neville Maskelyne, started his new job in 1765, he thought of a better way to process the observations. Instead of just getting his assistants to do the calculations, he sent the observations to people across Britain called computers, who then turned them into the tables in the Nautical Almanac. Processing so much data was tedious to say the least, but you could work from home. Neville employed a separate team of comparers to check for mistakes in copying. Once the almanac was ready, each volume predicted the moon's position for a given year. To find their longitude, sailors used sextants to measure the lunar distance or angle between the moon and a star, did some complicated sums to work out the moon's position as if viewed from the center of the Earth, and then consulted the almanac to find the exact time at Greenwich. They compared this time with local time on board the ship to find out how far east or west they were of Greenwich. By 1884, over two-thirds of the world's ships were using Greenwich as a reference, and the International Meridian Conference recommended Greenwich as the world's prime meridian.